Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's weird. <laughs> Did that actually have a class? I didn't want to show, but that's actually my superpower. That's it. That's it. Hey everybody, welcome back to Comic Book Punch. If you uh, saw our, our main show, we did a Suicide Squad game. Um, we're doing a review of the actual Suicide Squad movie that just came out. And here I have Daniel and my brother Johnny Yes, uh, to put, give their input also on them on what they thought about the movie. Okay. So let's, let's get into it. It sucked. <laughs> right off overall overall we got it it sucked overall actually I, I don't i think overall i'm being i'm being harsh it it didn't suck okay that bad that okay that bad i thought um i mean after i was done and i sat there and i kind of quickly went over <laughs> hi <laughs> we keep babies in the background yeah on the other side of our window <laughs> uh, baby me. yeah babies love this show <laughs> um right you should have them watch it just like over and over and over again. yeah um not just for the views just because they enjoy it that much <laughs> for the watch time. Yeah. um <laughs> what i was saying is that i sat there after the movie finished and i Probably. thought I, I, I cried a little bit, um, uh, cried out of a little bit of a disappointment, but I thought it wasn't bad, Okay. but it wasn't great. Okay. In my opinion, uh, again, someone that doesn't really know so much about the DC Universe, I went into it kind of with an open slate, and I thought the movie was good. I mean, I took it as an entertaining movie, and I was entertained. There was a lot of action going on. Um there was some plot holes. There was some story development that I think could have been done a little bit better. Overall, I liked it. It was a good movie. Better than other DC movies that have been out. I'm going to say this is probably one of the... Recently. Recently. <laughs> this is probably one of the best ones that's been out so far. I yeah, think I think our, DC... Like, choices are... No, they're horrible. Green Lantern. They're horrible. <laughs> like, I'm telling you, they're, they're not good. Batman versus Superman. Uh, you got me. But Man I, of Steel. Like, yeah. Come on. Like, we could have watched, like, a shoebox on screen... That's not... ...for two hours. Could have. Would have, would have been, been a lot better. A shoebox so, like, like, like some DCs? Yes. Yeah, <laughs> a shoebox of some DCs. Would have been shoes. worth a little bit more <laughs> usable, too. You could walk around in them. But for as of now, DC has been coming up with a not so great. Their movies have not been coming up to par. But so far, I think this has been the best one. So let's. So I think we should talk about that okay. thing as well. But let's talk a little bit about the movie first, and then we okay. can talk about like the bigger issue okay. with the DC universe on film in general. Let's do that. All right. So, what did you like about the movie? Um, like I said, overall, it was entertaining. Like, it was just cool to watch. It was cool to see these characters actually be portrayed on screen. That was another thing that was kind of exciting. A lot, I was looking forward to Holly Quinn. Uh, man, what was, was it, Maggie? Uh, Margaret? Margot Rob She did an awesome job. I mean, I think she did a really good job. Um, yeah, it was cool to see just some characters brought up to screen. I will say that Will Smith as Deadshot, I felt like I was watching Will Smith most of the time instead of Deadshot, but... I love Will Smith. I think he did a pretty decent job with the character. It got me emotionally attached to him. And it was good. It was good. Well, was actually... you should have been doing like a Nigerian accent. And then... Yeah, it was... <laughs> yeah. I don't, yeah, there was something... brought okay. a totally different yeah, character. Yeah, there was something <laughs> off about that. But yeah. yeah. I thought overall bringing the characters to film was good. Um, I admit, yeah, that's one of the things that I really liked. I really liked um, seeing the characters come to life. I mean, this is like the really first official time of getting to see a... a uh, a Harley Quinn, um, yeah, being played. She did an awesome job, man. Um, she as opposed awesome to like job. the 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 TV show where they try to do they did a little, little like voice cameo of Harley Quinn, yeah, in the Arrow, yeah. Um, but you got to see nothing of her. But seeing that character come to life, I was really excited to see Killer Croc. Yeah, um, definitely, definitely. Um, 
the makeup work was amazing on that, by the way. Oh, yeah. like, oh, it looked was, really good. It was, it was, it was the, the, the head that was the like head, this. The head that was... Even, <laughs> even, even then, though, like, they saw some, like, back, you know, set footage, and it's it looks like it's a full suit that he's rocking in. I mean, it looked really good. Yeah, but why yeah. is Killer Croc, like, a skinny little dude with a giant head yeah. instead of, like, Dwayne Johnson or... Yeah, or, uh, it was swole. That, that, Senna. that yeah. was that was Or one the, of the mountain. One yeah. of the things that, like... Killer Croc, I think, fell ashore on the character because he wasn't um, gigantic. Like Killer Croc is in like the comics he's and huge. The animated, he's huge um, stuff like that. Like he towers over Batman. Yeah, almost. and then again, it is a movie. I think you could only do so much to make the character a little more relatable. It could be, you know, however I don't know his backstory, but however he came to be Killer Croc, it was a man first, wasn't it? And then. Uh, I think it depends I on the origin. Yeah, it depends okay. on the origin story, story that you go with. Um, I think I think he was born that way. Oh, okay. I okay. think mostly, my, I was really excited to see these characters come to life on screen. Because right. one of my favorite things from Suicide Squad is when the first time that, that I ever met Amanda Waller, which was in um, uh, was the Justice League animated series. Okay. And that was like a character that, that I didn't like, but I loved to like not like just right. because she's just so mean yeah she's kind of vicious she's kind <laughs> of vicious yeah so i didn't have like as much a fan of dc as i am like i haven't like paid attention to comic books a lot in the last 15 20 years right. you know like i kind of stopped when i was in high school and so i don't have a ton of history with the Suicide Squad, or really right. any of the characters yeah, yeah, yeah. in the Suicide Squad, mm-hmm. except for Joker, Harley Quinn, a little bit of Deadshot, a little bit Killer Croc. Right. But the rest of them, I was like, I don't know who the hell you guys are. <laughs> and I, I, I know of Amanda Waller. Like, I've seen her in, like, right. an animated movie or whatever, but I haven't, like, followed that character's progression and it's interesting because I find that people that have no connection at all so far have kind of enjoyed the film. Right. Know? Yeah. At least of my friends, you know, not not critics. Mm-hmm. Um, whereas people that have like a real affinity and understanding of the characters generally haven't had as much fun. But I've also found that like since they can fill in some of those gaps about who those characters are and the um, backstories and the relationships between them that they're kind of a little bit more forgiving on the storyline. The thing that I liked about the movie was the humor. Like, so far, you know, the last two Batman... The last two Superman movies have been kind of devoid of any humor whatsoever. Yeah, super serious. And there's just no... There's no levity. And... Uh, I think that's one of the things that makes the Marvel movies so enjoyable is the fact that they just have fun. Yeah. You know? And yeah. this world is so serious. Yeah. yeah. You know? Even when they're trying to be funny. Um, but I did I did laugh. You know, I did laugh out loud quite a few times. I, I was doing some research and someone someone had mentioned uh, that's why one of the reasons why they went back and do reshoots for the movie. They felt that it was a little too dark and they tried to instill a little more humor. And yeah. someone had also mentioned the fact that uh, Will Smith had a lot to do with that, too, because the fact that he didn't really wear his mask the whole time. It had Will Smith be a little more relatable to people. And he did have a lot of good punches in there, one liners and stuff. His, mm-hmm. his attitude, It was real funny. And I think. If he would wore the mask the whole time, probably wouldn't have came off as 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 funny, you know. Well, other than well, funny I'm looking, looking. It's, okay, right, other than right. Funny, like, but I mean, you, you think is Spider Man? He's that's true. But he, he wears that's the mask true. the whole time. Yeah, but I mean, I that would could have ended Will up Smith didn't wear a mask the whole right. time because right. Will Smith wants people to see Will Smith's face. Right, like it's the same I reason see why Will Smith's face. why uh, what's it called? It's why I went to go see Robert Downey Jr.'s mask is always open in his Iron Man suit. Like right. He's Iron Man. Um, so, I mean... Is there anything else you like? Because we can talk for quite a while about the things it didn't like. Yeah, no, I, I want to move on to... Yeah. Keep 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 this moving. So let's move on to, you know, what was probably the biggest thing that you didn't like? Um, I don't know. I don't know. Um, biggest thing I did... Actually, I'm going to let... How about someone else take that on? Let me think, because... 
someone's a little more passionate about the DC universe, <laughs> they'll probably answer that better than I would. Yeah. I think, okay, so if I was to pick one thing that I really didn't like about the movie, I think it's the script. <laughs> the movie? <laughs> the movie? I don't, I don't know. Like, 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 <laughs> you mean like the script, like writing, or like the script? So, so, I, don't, I don't know. Like, I think that... Like, there are a few things that I didn't like about the movie. And so it's hard to, like... Like, there wasn't one thing that I was like, oh, that was such a bad error. Like, now I, you've lost me. I'm done with you. You know? Mm-hmm. It was... Uh, we spend the first half an hour of the movie in exposition. You know? So we're literally just explaining how everybody got together. Right. And, and who they are. And it didn't really feel very or- organic, you know? Like, it was kind of a cheat. Like, oh, well, we've got a file on each one of these people. Right, and now we're going right. to go through. And I was literally like, how, like, how, uh, like, is the whole movie just going to be us going through files? Like, how long are we going to be doing right. this? Right, yeah. It, it actually, I felt it was, a, it was actually a, like a really long time of them going through files. Because I sat there and I was like, wait, there's more? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and we waste, I mean, we, we take a long time for any action to really start happening in the story and and so the reason why i say the script is because the the movie so often takes time out to explain something that doesn't need to be explained and just stops all forward momentum of the story and we're kind of like okay why why did we need to see harley fall into the thing oh Spoilers. This whole conversation will continue. <laughs> a long time ago. Yeah. I think. Spoilers. I think. I think, like... I think. At the beginning, I'll just put like a big, you know, disclaimer. Spoiler alert. Uh, we're going to ruin the movie. We're way past that. <laughs> <laughs> um. And so, like that, that happens like all the time, you know. Right. Where we're really kind of giving backstory in places where it doesn't matter. And I was telling a friend the other day, like, what makes a movie like Mad Max so great is the fact that the like george miller trusts the audience to fill in the gaps in the world we don't need to know how the world of mad max is the way that it is it just is it just is and because it's so fully developed we're kind of just we're in this place of max right like Mm -hmm. max is the audience you know and so we're experiencing it as he's experiencing it and then, and we're just trying to figure it out as we go along. And, you know, why they say words the way they do or why they, like, believe that they're going to go to Valhalla isn't really important. It's just part of their... So uh, in the world of the Suicide Squad, like, we don't... They don't trust the audience, right? And so they've got to explain everything to get catch us up to speed. And then the next thing that I thought was kind of weird was... Like, she brings, Amanda Waller brings these guys together, right? So that they can face this big threat that's coming. But in the act of bringing them together, she creates the threat that they then need to assemble to attack. Which was weird. And it was kind of like, what? Yeah, Yeah, uh, it's it's like a storyline that feeds into itself to create a storyline. Which would be (laughs) fine, right? Like, if... If it was more like, uh, I, I don't know, like that, that definitely has happened in movies and, uh-huh. it, and it works, but I feel like it didn't work here because there were actual potential, like real ominous threats in the world that they could have addressed rather than recreating the end of Ghostbusters 2. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's, that's perfect. <laughs> that's perfect. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And then what threat is, you know, I didn't feel like there were stakes. And so uh, it all goes back to the script, right? Like, right. what are the stakes? Like, okay, yes, yeah, someone could blow their head up, right? But we knew that what's-his-face, Slipknot, was there to die, right? Like, Yeah, because he had no hope from the beginning. As soon as his character walked in, I'm like, this guy's not going to last long. Right, he's American Indian. Of course they're going to It's sad. Him. It's sad. What? That is horrible to say, but probably 100% right. <laughs> um, <laughs> so bad. I, well, I mean, it's it's they. I mean, you always you have to have somebody that to die though to show that this is 
like an actual threat of right. their life. Right, right, but right. it was this. cowardly for them not to kill like Captain Boomerang, right? Because that's uh-huh. played by a named actor. It would have been really interesting for them to like bring in someone that was a named actor and then kill him off like right away and everybody right. be like, Oh snap you know This character is gone forever. <laughs> and and everybody can well no, it's just that even if Slipknot was played by a named actor, right. it would have changed the way we viewed what could happen. It's true. It's true. Right? It's true. Yeah. You wouldn't expect it. Because we're like, it. hey, if they brought in in uh, Matthew McConaughey, as, <laughs> right? And they and kill him. And blow his head <laughs> up. Right? First of all, that everybody awesome. would be, think that's awesome. That's totally awesome. <laughs> right. And they would have been like, oh, snap. It right. doesn't matter if you're an A-list actor. You still could die. Right. What was yeah. what was your worst point of the of the movie? Um, my worst point, or my my the the thing that I that I didn't like most about the movie, um, is, I think probably the, the thing that I didn't really like about the Batman versus Superman is that you're thrown in the middle of this universe without much. Um, story told about about these characters that you're supposed to follow right because this is a whole new world that that we're entering into a whole new dc universe Mm -hmm. that we're entering into um that i mean how am i supposed to relate these characters how can i expect these characters to be or where they come from like i didn't know like in batman versus superman like how this batman was going to be right but this is the Batman running around branding people, and, and in my in my understanding, the Batman he doesn't do that. Right, right, <laughs> right. Um, so like the thing is like this Suicide Squad. Like I don't know how their Joker is going to be, right? I don't know how their Harley Quinn is going to be, or how their Deadshot is, right? Because right away, I mean, you got Will Smith playing playing Deadshot, which I state this to to everybody. But I mean, Deadshot is a white guy. I don't think that matters. But though. but like, but after I saw the movie, like I was okay. I was like, okay, I I'm okay with this. Um, and as much as I was okay with with most of the other characters that were coming in, um, that I was just like, this isn't a bad group of actors. Like they did a really really good job. But then again, it's like it could have used better writing. Yeah, I think the writing was um, probably the major issue of it. Um, which I mean, that can fall into how these characters were portrayed, is along with along with the writing. Right. You know, this is how these people wrote these characters, and this is how you know these actors portray the characters based off these guys' writings. Right. Um, but like, it, that's that's the thing is that there there's not enough story for me to care about these characters. Are are um, well, I mean, live we up li- care like live up live up to the expect- a little bit. Yeah, we care about a, Deadshot is actually a, a very big, big part of the Suicide Squad from comic books um, to animated movies to TV show. Like he's very portrayed. Like you need to care care about right. Deadshot mm-hmm. because he's got a story. Like he has a daughter. Like he needs to care. And I think that's where Suicide Squad probably could have taken off more with um, with making Suicide Squad you know about this character which i think it, i mean i'm gonna go off just a little bit here um where a lot of team like movies as like avengers or you know justice league or something like that when you're doing a group of characters fighting together um the thing is i think the movies move a lot better if you're focused on at least you know one character most of the time um maybe two characters right um because that's where you you had the Captain America movie, right? And your most main focuses are on Captain America and Iron Man, and that's what drives the movie, right? Right, that drives the story. Like Even though Civil you have Wars. all of the Avengers together, right. you can't focus on every single one of right. them, except when in the Avengers but movie, you're everyone on... gets their time to shine in that movie. Yeah, right. So you still feel like they had a a reason to be there. I mean, to yeah. uh, to throw my two cents or one cent in, like. As, as an outside perspective, I kind of felt like there was not that much character development, the writing, there was a lot of issues with that. Um, but overall, I, I feel like there was, a, there was I could have used a little more explanation on the characters. Yeah, we did spend a lot of time in the beginning of the movie going over that, but still I felt like they could have been done a little bit better. Um, 
another question I kind of want to get into kind of rather stuff. Uh, what was your guys' impression, although there wasn't a lot of screen time to work off of, what was your impression on Jared Leto playing the Joker? I mean, how do, how do you think he did? I think this this is probably the most important part because everybody... Um, I, I mean... Was, was, I think, especially people that, that have seen, um, what... Uh, Heath Ledger, Joker, and uh, I mean that, uh, Nicholson, the Nicholson's Joker Bale. and stuff. Yeah. Um, oh, what I say, Bale. Well, the, had, the, the, you're going to get a different Joker. We've had right. what? We've had eight iterations of the Joker. About. Yeah. Right. Right. Like we've got. I don't remember the guy's name from the '60s. From the '60s show, show the animated right. series. There's been tons of people there. Mark Hamill. We've had a few. We've had a. The, the dreadlock joker in in the batman mm-hmm, mm-hmm. um we've had a couple of different people play the joker in the movies in the animated movies right 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 um yeah and i think that what this joker misses the most is he's not having any fun that that's one of the things that i would say i i totally agree like joker's the Joker, and you could only play the Joker so many ways. He's obviously crazy, a lunatic, mm-hmm. and I think Jared Love does a really good job of that. He does show the crazy side, but there was really no humor in there whatsoever. Right, and I think that's and I think that was kind of missing from that. It was very cool. I will say that for the story, the one thing that I think they did right is I kind of like how they portray the relationship between Harley Quinn and the Joker. See, I think they missed the boat. They, they well, missed it. In, in, my, in my personal opinion, it was kind of cool to see the whole scene where she's jumping into the to the acid and he kind of walks away and is like, you know what, I gotta go after her. I thought that was a really cool, genuine Except that moment. the Joker would never do that. I, that that's, that's, that's my opinion. From, from ever since Harley Quinn was created in the animated series, Bruce Timm's animated series, the Joker, um, like he, my, 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 this was, this was, this is my own view. I mean, I didn't read anything like much about it, but this is what I pick up from, from Joker every time that I see him, see him played, um, along with Harley Quinn is that he was focusing on trying to create another Joker. Right. And he sees that he didn't quite do it with Harley Quinn. Right, right, right. Um, but ultimately, even if he did succeed, he still doesn't care about Harley Quinn. I, it was just a game right for him and you know and that's and that's i understand that i understand like the stories you know joker's always going to treat her like trash is always going to use her to his advantage but it, i kind of felt like but for me there's always does that but he, he, did, he didn't do that in the film yeah, yeah. he spends it running after her chasing like he's her. trying to save her like I he's the that, hero of the film i thought that, it was kind of cool which was I one of my was things cool that that i thought it was Great, because I was like, "We're okay. This is actually good." Because at the beginning, Batman's chasing them where they're in that car. They he goes and take, sends it into the water, and he jump. Batman jumps into the water to find Harley Quinn, but Joker's gone. I was like, "Okay, that's the Joker exactly. right there." Right. right, right. But then the rest of the movie is like, hit. Joker yep. at that point would have forgotten about Harley Quinn. Yeah, and, and it, it still never would have came after her. I, I get it. And what about that? See, what, well, and this goes back to your point earlier, right? About like. Batman in Batman versus Superman, right? There mm-hmm. is what we there are many many iterations of Batman and Superman and Wonder Woman and all these throughout the Elseworlds comics and uh, different timelines and all these things, right? But those characters have like through lines that define who they are, mm-hmm. re- regardless of the world that they're in, and the. And Zack Snyder kind of betrayed that character of Batman because we know a huge thing about Batman is he doesn't kill people. Right. He's really not nice to them, mm-hmm. but <laughs> he doesn't kill them. Right. And, you know, and, and instead we get a car chase where it's just kind of like, well, we're going to blow up those guys. Or we're going to blow up those guys. And if this guy die, bleeds out, you know, like, oh, well. Um, and the same thing goes with this Joker. He's just not consistent with the character through lines that we know of the Joker, which is what made Heath Ledger's performance so revolutionary because we had Jack Nicholson that was very over the top and he was a darker, more modern version of that 60s Joker character, Mm -hmm. right? It was, he was still like very funny and very, and he had a lot of fun with what he was doing, but what he was doing was a lot darker. Right. 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 
and we see Heath Ledger's Joker, and he's very serious. So and his humor is so deadpan that you yeah. sit there and you're like, I shouldn't laugh at that, but it's so <laughs> it's funny, good. right? You know, it's really like good. it's just really clever, really good <laughs> what he's doing, and it's more in the nuances of the character. And he's kind of just like, I'm just acting normal. What's wrong with all of you? Yeah. Right? Like, why are you all so serious? Yeah. Right? Yeah. And this Joker didn't have any of that. Mm -mm. Like, it, it, it was all a lot of, like, dressing, you know? Like, we're, and we're, we're going to cover him with tattoos and give him a grill. And, like, it's just, get, Joker's not a gangster. The Penguin is a gangster. The Joker is not a gangster. The Joker doesn't really want to work with anybody, you know. So, uh, but I will say that I did like seeing his uh, henchman, the, that panda with the machine gun. That guy yes, was like, that was cool. Yeah. That guy was awesome. Which, the, I, we had talked about this before for, the, for that, that main thing is that um, when I saw those guys that were running around in like these head costumes and stuff, there's an actual group in the DC universe. Um, I don't know their exact name and I don't, and I want. I would like to think that these are those guys um, that Definitely go around inspired by them. For yeah, sure. uh, that run around in these, you know, costumes, animal costumes, um, you know, robbing banks and stuff like that. So I don't know if that was like an inspired thing or if that's actually like who this group was working with Joker. But so, cool. what would you change to make this a better movie? I'd probably add like another three hours to it. <laughs> okay i agree with you and i'll get into that with my comments but i think it needs more than three hours yeah more i mean it, I feel like there's just um so much room to work with <laughs> what to do more. to 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 make the movie better uh, I, I i i would have chosen to do something different i would have chosen, <laughs> I, would have chose, I would have chosen to do well i mean having having I this year taken the having this year and put it in the shotgun because and then blown up the screen <laughs> i would and then picked up the pieces and had the actors read that and that would have been a better movie um i have this here and i want to recommend it the batman assault on arkham um because this is suicide squad and like I love when I first saw this, I, I really liked the story. I really liked what happened. And this is what I was hoping to expect from the movie. And I'm just like, why not just grab, you know, the comic book or something like that and, you know, use this as your movie. Right. You know, the story, the story is there. People have enjoyed these stories. So why not take these comic books and transform them into the movies with the story, not just the, the picture frames. <laughs> right and say i'm really true to the comics right but right. all you got is the frames and not the story um i think that they should have taken the marvel route and made this into a series they should have done orange is the new black with superheroes with super villains yeah have you ever watched the show I've seen I've seen a little bit of Orange is the New Black. So they every do, episode they do like, break into a new character development in every episode, which gives it a lot of space. A lot of you can really. But get But they connected. always do these flashbacks, yeah. and so you get these layers of who these characters are. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And you know, in a show like Daredevil, we end up sort of empathizing with Wilson Fisk a little bit as Kingpin, because we get to see who he is as a person, even though he's still not a good guy. Like, you get he's you, a more well-rounded. You get to guy. see where he where he comes from and why he's going to do the things that he does. Yeah, right. and so those moments end up being earned, you know. Right. And this, you know, what I said at the beginning is the bigger problem with the DC universe, right? Yeah. I think that the heads of the DC production team at Warner Brothers said, "Okay, this is what Warner, this is what Marvel and Disney are doing." And we don't want to do that. Right. Right. We're going to go like we did really well with the Batman series. They're dark. They're gritty. We want to keep some of that tone because that's what people want. Right. When the reality is <laughs> all of the Marvel movies have made more money than the Batman. Yeah, for sure. For like, sure. Right. Because 
they're more fun, you know? I I mean, I've watched... I would watch Civil War again tomorrow. Yeah. Like, or tonight and tomorrow. Like, because like, <laughs> yeah. it's a lot of fun, yeah. you know? But yeah. it works because we've had time with those characters. Yeah, we know. You know? Like, we understand who those characters are and those moments feel earned because we've de- developed a relationship with them over the past 10 years, you know, working towards Avengers 2.5. Right. You know, 10 years. Um, I think it's been, yeah. It's close to that. Like something like that, mm-hmm. at least. Um, I mean, they're on like movie 14 or 15 or something yeah. like that. And so instead we're bringing all these characters first and then we're supposed to like go spend time with them. And I just think it's it's the wrong approach, you know. Um, and, and you know what? These guys could... I mean, Suicide Squad is getting made because Gardens of the Galaxy did well. Like, it, it is. There's right. no way that that movie got greenlit without another obscure comic book Team. ragtag band of anti-heroes coming out of the woodwork and making a great film. The problem is... That movie, again, had its own world that felt lived in, and you're kind of like on this adventure with them, with them yeah. right? You know, mm-hmm. it's exciting. And there was nothing exciting about what the goal was in Suicide Squad. Now, I do think they could have done one major thing to change the whole movie around. Make Joker the villain. You know what? That's what a lot of people's impression was. For the trailers, I mean, you see the team come up, you see Joker kind of make appearance. You were kind of—I was kind of the impression that you were going to go in. Joker's going to be the villain. Harley Quinn's going to run away with him, and then it's going to be left. No, it's about a witch. No, Harley <laughs> Quinn doesn't want to run away with him, right? That's what creates the conflict. Amanda Waller is forcing her to go against her will right. to track down the love of her life, right? Right, and you know what would make the stakes even higher is at the very last moment. He pulls out Deadshot's girl, his daughter. Mm. Sequel? And now what's he going to do? <laughs> right? Yeah. There's a lot more interesting tension that can happen there. And so, and you know, we can have the Joker besting them in, yeah. you know, different ways throughout the movie as they're trying to chase him down. And he's having fun <laughs> right. while he's doing it. Now, I, I, I think one of the characters that I would have added into the Suicide Squad would have been Batman. <laughs> well, that could have created more conflict, right? Because Batman's trying to track down the Joker as well. Yeah. And so not only is Amanda Waller forcing these bad guys to go after the Joker against their will, but Batman's trying to go after the Joker too, and they're getting in his way. Right? And it comes and so, down to a thing is like, well, I gotta stop the Suicide Squad. I gotta stop Joker, and also have to make sure Suicide Squad doesn't kill Joker, or Joker kills Suicide Squad. <laughs> right, <laughs> right. Or Amanda Waller kills everybody. Right. <laughs> right. And I think that would have been a way more interesting film. And I just don't know why they chose to make the Enchantress the bad guy. Like that came out of left field. Like I was not expecting that at all. No, I, I wasn't expecting it at all. Okay. Um. So, overall, let's do a rating on a rating from zero to Mexican Fiesta. I give this eight chimichangas. Eight chimichangas. Yeah. Wow. That's wow, generous, that's, man. That's, I I liked it. I was entertained. They're probably like wet, juicy, cheese, right? Like juicy cheese and extra sauce. I'm getting hungry now. <laughs> I think that's just <laughs> he's hungry. Um. I. I, I'm I'm gonna give it like a a four. Okay, okay, okay. I, I give it three Del Taco chicken soft tacos. Those are good. So three, but only three of them. I mean, they okay. they'll fill you up. <laughs> so, <laughs> with that, guys, um, post in the comics what you guys think, um, and let us know if you want to see more of these discussions. Yeah, I mean, I know we went on quite a bit, and there might be a little bit of cuts and stuff like that. Yeah, of and um, out, over the discussions, I know I'm starting to like perspire. That's um, what happens when we talk intense. We just sit here and sweat. Intense, intense talk <laughs> discussion. It has nothing to do with the light shining in our face. Um, what do you it's think of the suicide? Like, bad we feel about how crappy the joke was. What do you guys think of the Suicide <laughs> Squad? 
I can't, um, I can't take this. I'm just going to sweat it out. It was such a horrible movie. <laughs> Whatever. You gave it eight chimichangas. I, dude, I'm sweating because of the chimichangas. Um, <laughs> Depends where you're lying from. Man. Assault on Arkham. Uh, if you haven't seen it, go check it out. It's probably my favorite thing of Suicide Squad. And I Orange is the New Black. Four seasons. Plenty. That's like a good like week and a half of like solid streaming. Um, but yeah. Post in the comments what you guys thought about Suicide Squad movie. If you haven't seen it, sorry for all the spoilers. Um, but if you haven't seen it, don't let what we say really influence what you think about the movie. Go and see it. Figure it out for yourselves. Um, because even though I didn't like the movie uh, that much, um, I still really want to support DC and, and everything that they and that that they do. Um, They'll get it right, man. It's gonna be okay. I, I feel they're that, gonna get that it right. the movies How many are going to get, get there before we stop. Saying you know, doesn't I feel like there's gonna there, there, <laughs> there's, there's there's a little increase in changing of the moods of the movie. Um, so I can't wait for Wonder Woman to come out. Oh, that's gonna um, to see really that, good. and I I, I want to see um, Justice League. Um, but really, I want to see everything after Justice League. I want. I want um, there to be like a big yeah. change of the guard and then yeah. 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 So that's probably something we'll do later too when that all that stuff comes out <laughs> and other reviews and we'll talk about Anything it. Anything that Zach and we'll did sweat. not have his fingers. We'll go over it. We'll go over it. But I think probably the next movie re review we end up doing it will be uh, Doctor Strange. Doctor Strange. Oh, yes. Yes. That's going to be awesome too. So look forward for or that. we can review older movies. That too. That'd I guess. kind of cool. I guess that too. If you guys want to sit down and watch a movie. Totally. Watch. Salt on Arkham. All right, guys. So thank you very much for watching. This is Comic Book Punch. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, and do all the good stuff with other people. I'm Daniel. This is Donnie, and that's and Johnny. Um, also, go see our other uh, episodes. Uh, if you haven't seen our first episode, our favorite superheroes, or the episode before, or the second episode that we just did, um, Suicide Squad game. Check out those videos. I, I win. I win the poster in the back. Yeah, I wasn't sweating. <laughs> That's then. all his. But guys, uh, thanks for joining us. Awesome. See ya. Kaplow. What? Oh, no. That was. I didn't. No one told me that. No one I told know. me that. <laughs> I, just, I, know. I did that on purpose. <laughs> no one told me that. All right. Stop it all, dude. That was like. An hour, wasn't it? Yeah, it was like at least 40 minutes. Sheesh, man. <laughs> yeah.